We've been through unrated mods before, finding some questionable mods, secret mods, and some actually really good ones. And today, we go again to try and find these hidden gems or pierced gems. First, we'll select a bunch, then we'll load up Slaris and check them out. So we're going to go over to most recent, Eeps Additional Mega Structures. Easy Pete, you have the same initials as the start of my name. These look very cool. I like Mega Structures. You're going in the collection, my friend. We've also got Eeps Relevant Terraforming. Basically, it makes it so some Baron calls frozen toxic worlds get terraforming candidates we're adding it if you're wondering where to get all the ones that i actually use you can check the description i'll link every single one that we use baccalaris flag backgrounds you're going in just for the creative name i know a lot of you would like a better flag background so here's one for you warp drive ftl system mod this mod returns the ability to select ftl like version 1.9 a lot of you complain about that that you want to be able to do that so here it is mods the power of mods megacorp expansion three words Working branch offices to make them scale with jobs. Quite interesting. Even factions? What the? Okay, yep. Yeah, no, that sounds cool. I always like to see what other languages are talking about. I don't know why. This says maximize the random number of difficult sacrifices. A very literal title. And then the description says, What are you looking at? Go and praise the sun. I have no idea who this is. <laughs> why does it exist? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it. I bet the comments are shouting at me like this is someone I'm meant to know. Yep, I knew you were typing. I knew it, Greg, all the time. So this mod is rated, but it's literally on the most recent page. We're going to allow using some mods that have been rated if they're very recent. Emissive Energy Shield looks incredible. Look at that. It's DJ Khaled. Yeah, I'm going to get copyright struck if we go for that. 250 times natural disaster. What is a natural disaster in Solaris? We'll subscribe. Oh, is it Crisis? I I don't know we'll see mega robot assembler that sounds cool mega structure to assemble robots ai always refuse vassalization i feel like that's uh my fault why is it just a mouse that's um sleeping optional leader traits at the start well i want to see what this does i'm not gonna lie side edits for friends i feel like this will break what we do so we're going to do it separately again i love just i, I mean it's weird but looking at like private mods just to see what people are changing you know we actually found out with the last what did in the uh, the comments someone looked at the files it was just fixes for other mods trait maxes and and cheaty things thanks iron gaming <laughs> Someone just made a cat mod based off their cat. I'm all for that. Cool sunglasses. Yeah, cool sunglasses. Cool sunglasses. Cool sunglasses. I guess you could say that was a very bright idea. Oh, yeah. We got, <laughs> we got cool sunglasses now. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is just a translation for designable star bases. But designable star bases, very cool. Very annoying that you can't do that. I'm just going to show off this mod anyway. I, I, my rules. The sunglasses have changed me marks balanced carrier and super carrier i like the sound of that good soldiers follow orders 50 soldier traits oh my gosh we're making soldiers oh my gosh this mod's actually good i mean all of them are but this one it annoys me place all orbitals decision you can just make it construct all the orbitals oh wow it's so annoying when you have to click on every single one designable strike craft okay we're just getting very nerdy now oh no this is a mod that exists well translation or maybe it's an update i don't know well that sounds cool but we're not going to do it because it's been around i think we have a good amount here let's add them all we're gonna have everything enabled except for side edits because that might change stuff that we might affect us well we'll look at that after okay let's have a look on the selection screen i don't see sunglasses damn it this i need to select the right place set um totally didn't just not use it let's see what we got the random person who i don't know yeah can we put sunglasses on him no they just feel like what is i will do you like oh, who is this guy uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, whoever you are. I really hope you're a famous internet person. Hey, where's those damn sunglasses? All I care about. I can't... Oh, sunglasses! Yeah. Yeah, sunglasses. Okay, so there's a bunch of mega corps up. We've got designer corps. Hydro base produce less food, but consumer goods. Fast food chains, consumer goods instead of food. Enables cash crop subsidies, shifting farmer production towards consumer goods. Food from farmers, minus one. Consumer goods from farmers, plus one. Great value from living standard, plus 
equals N. Very interesting. Publicly traded factions will form in your empire shortly after the game starts. Instead of unity, factions produce trade for every unity. Two trade for every unity. That's pretty good because you can shift that unity back with a, the trade thing. Systematic gluttony. Severely decreased food output but increased pop growth, happiness, and pop growth from immigration. Interesting. Mechanized labor. Trade value from roboticists plus four. Build corporate robotics corporate building. Guaranteed research option. Powered out skeletons. Increased your rate with robotic workers. Robot output 10%. That's cool. These are really nice and interesting civics. I believe that's all of the new ones they had. Traits. Hmm. Start with warp drive technology. I like how they linked it to traits. It's very clever. Bluntness. Revelry, that's probably the Mega Corp stuff. Yeah, there's like trade value traits. Then we have a bunch of army ones that just do stuff for armies. Food from Soldiers 2, for instance. Killer squads. There are so many. Influence from Soldiers. That's pretty good if you're going aggressive. It costs seven, though. We actually got no origins. And of course, flag backgrounds. You can create whatever you want. There are so many options. Event header. Event intro. What? I don't know what this is at all. Why are we primitives? <laughs> primitive farms. Primitive factory. Primitive mine, primitive power pop, regional capital, urban dwellings. I have no idea what mod is doing this. I swear I remember seeing something like this, but I haven't written it down. <laughs> I have no idea. But we do have no warp drives. Now we have warp drives and we click play. So we got to upgrade stuff into them. And we've been given all the base stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Wait, we have the core with the orbital outpost. This is insane. The only issue is it's not letting me move. Now oh, we got to upgrade. Okay, there we go. Bear in mind we have to upgrade on start, but it's fine. Yeah, the science ship can't use the hyperlanes, but it can jump. I mean, we literally have a civic that does this now, but it's a free trade instead. And they can just survey over there. Yeah, here's our factions of game start that are giving us energy. You can actually see it in the corner. That's really cool, actually. I'm on Iron Man mode because of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> we want to use constant commands so that we can see everything. We're not playing a full game that's probably broken. Let's give you a good taste of what you can expect if you do a full game using this. So the crisis strength does go to 215, like that mod natural disaster says. You want 250, you can do 250. Go straight there. And we did get optional leader trait. We did not. I don't know what more optional leader traits are because we did not get any. Oh, this gives trait. That's what this starting thing does. Ah, you can actually just choose them. Cool. All right, we can clearly see there are a few colonizable worlds. Terraformable. <laughs> As for Eeps relevant terraforming, might be buffed because I have like a high habitability on. It's fine. So we did get Mega Robot Assembler, which is a rare tech. We get a building robot assembler link. This needs the mega structure. And we get one mega robot assembler worker per 10 pops. That is insane. The mega structure. Mega robot construction costs 300 influence, 10,000 alloys as three stages. Be built around anything. We're gonna build it around our capital, because why not? There it is. Stage two, it does nothing. So you need to to fully max it before it does anything. Third stage, and then final fourth stage 200 energy upkeep a month but gives you two machine modification points and then you can build this building that's quite an interesting building and mega structure because it doesn't really do much like it does give you traits at max for 200 energy but allowing you to build something else interesting and mega robot assembly workers are insane three of them are giving 12 pop assembly which is a lot i don't know if you can do that on other planets and it costs 15,000 to terraform into a preference in inverted commas because we're robot also get a habitat going so we can try that out i believe that will be a decision once we colonize it and the additional mega structures we have a steel fortification limit one per system giant military defense station built in orbit around major planetary bodies i keep of 250 and 25 alloys what the hell try that oh it just gets built oh that's cool you can just build it and it's just gonna do stuff for you it's quite a big class as well oh my gosh remember we can design this as well i don't know if this is from the build Buildable starbase model, the unique thing. But this is cool that you can just design the starbase. I don't know why this is not in Solaris, to be quite frank with you. We got Watchman Orbital Outpost. It's a smaller military outpost here. 1k. We got a cannon. Ah, uh, yeah, this is definitely from the buildable starbase mod. So we got an ion cannon here, which has nothing on it. Let's put that on there. It doesn't like that. I oh, know. We have to uncheck auto generate designs because I'm an idiot. And we can upgrade this 7.4k just for an orbital cannon. I like. 
that. Can really make choke points. And then we just got the same with different varying sizes and cost. Then this is Eeps mega structures. But limit one per empire. All positions that handles empire wide recycling reduces building, district, job, ship, and star base upkeep by 15%. Produces 10 minerals, 50 hours, upkeep of 100 energy. That's mental. And it's just uh, one upgrade. That's pretty cool. We got the Astro Mining Coordinator. One per system. Orbital Mining Coordinator Center that improves the efficiency of zero gravity mining. That's okay, but mining sucks anyway. Orbital Forge. Orbital Metal Station that produces just alloys and energy. We got one that does food for energy. And I think that was all of them. Just some basic resources. I think you might get them earlier. Just notice, looking through the text, we got some doctrines, like formations. What? Although I do not see them. Maybe you need supremacy. No. Nope. Yeah, let's take a look at the super carriers. So the cruiser seems to be in between the battleship and battleship, and the super carrier is above the battleship. And they just have hangar slots. Yep. And a lot of A slots. Very interesting. And yeah, they could only have advanced carrier views. And that gives a lot of buffs. Oh my. We could use the warp drive upgrades. Oh, that's cool. They give you upgrades. And the carrier is just like a weaker version if you have super carriers you probably want to use the super carriers yeah the shield oh you can actually see like where the shield is getting blocked i really like that mod as they pew pew you can see the shield blocking very nice then we have the habitat with a decision to deploy or orbitals i'm pretty sure it's just going to do that Destiny. i apply them all it will cost us for each one I like that. That's nice. Telling us how much. And then it just poops it all out. That is so nice. Because I don't even use habitats anymore. Because I can't be bothered. I believe what we have next. Cat. I couldn't see the cat mod. Oh, the gluttony is the cat. Okay, we have seen that. And let's try and find out what the secret super duper mod does. <laughs> it just... My game just crashed. And I launch it. Um, yeah, it keeps crashing. So unfortunately, we won't find it out. But if you know about modding and look into that mod, you know what it does. And hopefully someone's commented it so you all can check it out. If you enjoyed this video, check out my achievement series. It drives me even more insane than mods that crash.